Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 13th through the 17th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Cards want to fall. we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck some of you are having an intuitive check um, some of you need to really really pay attention to what your gut is telling you about a specific situation because right now there's something that kind of looks a little bit mysterious it seems unknown but there is a feeling you i feel like some of you get are getting a feeling um, it's almost like you know when you see certain things or you feel certain things you can't help but just attribute it to one thing so for example you could be seeing you know two 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 three 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 four 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 when you see a lot of angel numbers consistently over time at, you know as days go on for like a, a week um, usually that means something big is happening i feel like some of you have been picking up on these angel numbers some of you have been seeing things you've been kind of anticipating something and you're right on the on the nail uh, Scorpio you you definitely are picking up on the right energy because something is going to happen and I feel like your intuition is letting you know that with the way that you're feeling I feel like some of you have just this natural ability to feel when something is going to happen you can't really describe it but I feel like that's what's going on right now so this week could be about you really tuning into what you're feeling and kind of already creating that preparation that mental preparation for what's going to happen uh, there is an opportunity here that's coming towards you, and I feel like this is going to be very important. This week, it's it's almost like you're going to get some sort of offer that is going to really solidify that feeling that you've been having. It's almost like you have a premonition that's leading you towards, you know, accepting something that's going to come through here. We have the Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. I feel like some of you have been making an investment in something and for a long time now you've been kind of doubting yourselves and you know maybe just doubt, doubting the you know the situation in general and you've been thinking you know am I really giving to the right thing am I investing in the right thing am I putting you know time into the right thing I feel like a lot of you um, don't like feeling like you don't know what's going to happen after you know you put in so much effort into something it's almost like the fact that you can't see the outcome is what's making you frustrated so the unknown about the thing you're putting all this energy into is starting to make you doubt whether it's going to be successful because i feel like you're working on something where you don't see the results immediately you're working on something and you're putting your time into uh, a situation that takes time to evolve it, it's almost like you're working silently towards a very big uh project a very big goal here but you're, the, the amount of time that it's taking for you to see results could be what's making you feel like, is this really worth it? And I feel like what this reading really is saying, Scorpio, is that it is worth it. Your intuition is trying to tell you that. It's trying to communicate with you that this is a very big opportunity for you. Um, but it's something that you have to continue to put energy into. It's something that will not happen overnight. And for some of you, when you don't see something quickly, that impatience, that frustration gets the best of you and you start to doubt yourself. You start to doubt, is this really worth it? Am I going to see the fruits of my labor? Am I going to see the results? And the answer is yes. It's just not going to happen in the time that you think. With the Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're looking for ways to make this happen faster. But I think what you need to realize, Scorpio, is that right now what you're doing, what you're receiving is exactly how it's going to be. This, this energy or this feeling that you have, it's normal, it's natural, and in fact, it just shows that you care. Sometimes you need to feel this way to prove to yourself that you care about something. And I feel like the Page of Wands is speaking to you looking for that, that result in, in, you know, in, in a place where it's still developing. You know, the, the outcome, the result that you're looking for, it's still in the works. You want to see it right then and there. You want to see it so you can believe it. And I think the Four of Pentacles is saying, keep doing what you're doing. Continue to put in the same amount of energy. Continue to, to put in the same amount of effort. Protect your peace at the same time. Don't obsess over it. Don't overdo it. But keep doing it consistently because the consistency 
is what's going to allow you to eventually get to that point. But right now you're looking for any and every way to just keep it going for yourself. You're looking for that internal motivation, but it's already in there. You just have to keep doing what you're doing. Um, with the Ten of Swords and the Six of Cups, I feel like, you know, there's that fear from the past. I feel like maybe in the past you tried to do this before or you did something similar and it didn't work out. But I think what this is saying is you have to ask yourself, Scorpio, did you really put in the work for a consistent amount of time? Or did you do it for a little bit, wait to see the result, and then it didn't come, and then you felt defeated? Sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do, but it's necessary for us to be very in check, very in tune with what we're feeling, because you need to ask yourself, did you really go 100%? I feel like some of you, you went 100%, but you didn't do it consistently enough. And so the past feeling about this is kind of coming up again in this current situation. But the universe is telling you, just keep going. You're so close to success. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Cups and the Four of Wands and the, oh my gosh, and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you don't even realize how, the, how good this is going to be. You just have to keep going. There's a very specific success coming towards you but it's it's still in the future you know you don't see it right now but it's so good some of you need to realize that what you're doing right now is going to lead to this just because you don't see it right now doesn't mean it's not going to happen some of you really need to hear the message do not give up do not give up on this goal because this is going to take you exactly where you want to go with it you want to be successful you want to be happy you want to see this grow and blossom and be the biggest thing that you know it can be. Some of you just need to keep going. You're not going to see this until you keep going. And the Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, to me, is just confirming that this is exactly what you expect it to be once you're there. But right now, you need to just keep filling your own cup, keep putting in that work, and keep believing in yourself. Some of you, when you don't see the results quickly enough, you doubt your own capabilities. You doubt your own strength. You doubt your own you know, magic, and you cannot do that, Scorpio. You cannot doubt yourself because you are the reason why this is even happening. You having this passion, this desire, and putting in this work into this goal is going to lead you to success. You just have to keep doing what you're doing. If you stop doing what you're doing now, you will never get there. Consistency is key, but you believing in yourself is even more key because that's what leads to the consistency, the consistency still being a thing. There's so much that you have to look forward to, but right now you're letting the lack of results um, stop you from just keeping that consistency. But there's something so good that's going to come out of this. All right, let's clarify the moon. Yeah, we have seven of pentacles. There's that doubting energy again. There's this energy of because it's unknown, because you don't see the results, you're doubting if it's going to be good. You're doubting, is this actually what I think it's going to be? The answer is yes. We have two of swords, two of wands, and the empress. Your future, your future is screaming at you. Keep going, Scorpio. But right now in the present moment, you don't see, you don't see what you are. You are the empress, okay? Right now, you're showing up as the Empress. You have done all of this work to get here. Why would you stop now? You've made it this far. You can go even farther. You don't see it, but it's there. Your future is calling you to keep going. You cannot give up now. You've already made it this far. You're already the Empress. You just, you have to keep going. There's, there's doubt. Oh my gosh, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands. You're stressing over the possibilities. You're stressing over it. You're stressing over it, not, not going fast enough. Am I doing the right thing? You're doubting every move you make because you don't know if that's what's causing you to not have faster results. But really, Scorpio, I can't even contain myself because this is, you know, typical, you know, Scorpio energy where it's like you have, it's like you can have everything you want right in front of you. But if you're not touching it, you don't believe that it's there. And I think that some of you need to understand that if your intuition is telling you that this is exactly what you need to be doing, why would you go against it? Some of you need to be patient. Some of you need to keep doing what you're doing. Protect your peace and understand that this is part of the journey. This is part of the process. The doubt, the worry, the fear. It's all natural. This is proof that you're doing the right thing. This 
feeling that you have right now, this frustration of not seeing the results is proof that you are doing the right thing because you care. And guess what, Scorpio? The fact that you care, that's all you need to be successful. Because if you care, you will continue to do it. And if you continue to do it, if you keep that consistency going, you will re you will reach the point of satisfaction, of celebration, of happiness, of feeling fulfilled, of saying, I did it because I didn't give up. I believed in myself. And now look at all of the things that I've created. You just have to keep going. If this is the sign that you needed to, to keep going on something, then here it is. Because it, it's like so loud and clear for me. You cannot give up just because you're not seeing results immediately. It is going to come. Just keep doing what you're doing because it has been successful thus far. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.